Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 011. On my website, you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here, because you have completed, well done, seriously, well done, you should be very very, very proud. <laughs> if you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 011, task briefing. The photo below depicts four individuals. Your task is to identify them all. You can click here to open the photo on a new window. If you click it, it's much bigger, more details, you can see it slightly bit better. I have marked this exercise level as hard for beginners and for experts, this is a hard exercise. There is no questions about it. Is it possible? Absolutely. And I will show you how. So buckle up. We're going on a manhunt. A quick note before we start. I did not take this photo. I do not own the rights for it. It's only here to be used for educational purposes. You know, all that jazz. Okay. Let's first look at the photo. You cannot start an investigation without analyzing very well what we have here. So what can we see? We can see four people. I would say at first glance, it's very likely there are four men. Two of them seem to be balding. This one has hair, gray hair. This has dark hair, darker skin. This one has glasses. We can see the profile of this one. So you can see the right side of the face and you can see a bit, a tiny bit of this face can barely see anything from here or from here. So there's not much to start with in terms of features, but that's fine. We can work with it. We can see that at least the majority of them seems to be wearing a formal attire. There's suits, there's a tie here, there's some white colored shirts. This tells me that this is likely an important event of some sort, and these are likely important people. One of them seems to be holding a pen, right hand, so he's right-handed, and he seems to be writing something all of them are watching. So whatever he's doing with this pen is important because they're all looking at it. On this table, you can see headphones. The presence of headphones indicates that there is likely a need for translation. We usually see this in things like the UN meetings, or delegations between countries where you have people that require live translation. So they'll put the headphones on to hear what's happening because whatever is being said is being said in a different language. In this case, none of them is wearing it. So they have taken them off or they never use them in the first place. It's not clear. What is clear is that there is likely more than one language being spoken at whatever event this is. There's some water bottles, it seems here. Everything looks very fancy. This is glass, this looks very high end. You can see what looks to be banners in the back and I would say they are two equal ones. It's very blurry, you cannot see it, but whatever this is, it was big enough that it required the banner. It likely has the name of whatever event is happening, but obviously there's no way you can read that, so don't worry about it. It's not going to be that important in the meanwhile. So in conclusion, I would say that this is likely a big deal. And things that big deal have a lot of media coverage. So let's see if we can find this image somewhere else, because it's very likely that whoever took this photo took other photos. So for that, we're going to start with what you'd expect, image reverse search. Straight to Google, there's no point of using the other ones because I know this is going to give me the correct answer. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So Google is already telling me this is the page. Let's go to it. Let's see what this is all about. The page seems to be in Arabic. I do not speak Arabic. Unfortunately, it would have made this exercise way easier. <laughs> so I will just use my Google Translator to just translate the page for me for English. Thank you, Google. And it says the UN Security Council unanimously issues a resolution supporting the Libyan political agreement. Okay, so we have some information about what this is. We have a caption. I love captions. They always give so much information. It says from the archives, the signing of the Libyan political agreement in Skirad, Morocco, 17 December 2015. Okay, so that's great. We have an event. We know this event happened in Morocco, in this city. And we know there was a Libyan political agreement and we know the date, it was 17 December 2015. Great, so that was an amazing start. We have an idea of the what and the when. 
but we need to find the faces of these people. So let's dig a bit deeper. It says here the photo was taken by something called UNSMIL. So what on earth is UNSMIL? Let's check it out. So let's Google that because Google is your best friend. Okay, great. UNSMIL stands for United Nations Support Mission in Libya. Let's click this link and see where this lead us. Okay, so here we go. We have the website and chances are if they took one photo, you know, if they took this photo, it is very likely that they took other photos. They're not just going to take one photo. This was clearly something big. So let's see if we can find more photos on this new website. So what do we know that we can put in the keywords of this website on the search bar? We know some things. We know where it was, we know when it was, and we know what it was. So let's go with something simple. Let's put the name of the city and put the month of December. I already copied it, so I can just paste it. And that's it. Let's go with that. Brilliant. Okay. This is looking promising. Let's go with the first one. It says 18 December 2015. Okay, that's great. That's very close to our 17 December 2015, which is also mentioned here. Let's click the link and see what else can we see. First thing I see, this table is very similar to this table. See the water jars or glasses, whatever they are, and these red mats or something. They're here. They're also here and there's some headphones here as well and some pen. Clearly people needed pens to do whatever they were doing. There are a few photos here. You can see there's arrows pointing one way and the other. We'll go through the gallery. First thing we need to do is to find out are any of these people in these photos. So let's start comparing them, right? So let me just put this here to the side or something and see here. There you go. Perfect. So at first glance, I would say this gentleman is not one of them because he's wearing glasses and none of the bald men, I hope that's not offensive, none of them is wearing glasses. So that's great. This man, maybe, maybe, I would think maybe they are different. This suit is gray. This seems to be a bit blue, but we'll have to check it out. Maybe a different photo. This one clearly is none of them because he has dark hair. He's also balding. We don't have any dark hair balding men. So next photo, let's go. So same man again. Now we can see this one is not this one because he has a bald spot. Hopefully again, not offensive. <laughs> this one doesn't have a bald spot. So let's move on. Let me just move the window a second. Okay, it's better. Next photo. Right, so this one's, I would say none of them. You don't see anyone. Maybe this one would be similar to this one, but this one has glasses. So next, off we go again. None of them seem to match. There you go. None of them. My next. Definitely not a lady here. And oh, there we go. This is our photo. Okay, great start. Brilliant. We see a bit better. There's three banners. There's someone standing there and so on. Doesn't really give us any more information. Let's move on. And okay, this is good. This is very good. So now we see this gentleman. So we only saw a bit of his face and now we have the entire profile. So great. Let's save this photo because we'll need it. We also can see a bit more of this person's face, which will be again very useful. Any tiny detail in his features will help us verify him later on. So let's keep going. Wow, another great one. Brilliant. Okay, so this gentleman now who is uh, hiding behind that apparently. Yeah, okay, here we go again. Okay, so this one is clearly this one because this is the same group of people. So we have this man is here. You can see a bit of the head there and this one in the front is this one. We also save this photo because this will be very useful. We have a very good profile on this one. Okay, so what we have, you have someone standing, they're talking and it tells us the name. This is in French now, and this is the ceremony of signature of the political agreement of Libya. There you go. Someone else talking and see, this is where they were sitting. So whoever was sitting there kept on changing. So it's not only these four people. At some point there were other people. We've seen some of them at the beginning as well. And here you go. The man with the glasses is back. So let's keep going. The other man. And there is an audience. Okay, this is very useful to me. So when I see an audience, I'm thinking if there are people that need to go on stage to sign things as we've seen here and we know that sometimes they are not there, 
what it tells me is that the people will need to be nearby. So that means they'll probably be sitting in the front, on the sides or at the back of the stage because that makes sense. You're not going to bring someone from the back to sit there because they're important people. They're not going to sit with the people in the back, are they? I mean, let's be real. So I'm thinking at least one of these people is going to be in the front, right? And here we go. I was right. This is our man, isn't it? So this one is the same gentleman as this one. You can see the face. Let's move them again as well. So many photos. So this one, this one. Great, we have his face, we do not have his name. That's what we want. We want the names of everyone. But it's very useful to see not just the side, but also the front of the face. So we can memorize and we can see if we find him. We know he has a tie, which is some... I have no idea what that color is. I know coral. I don't know names of colors. It's probably coral or something. And you can see his suit, which is a bit stripy. Here you go. And he's also right-handed. I like to memorize stuff like that for some reason. <laughs> Okay, so that was it. Next photo is the last one. I could not spot any of the other individuals, but that's fine. We have one and this is it. We go back to the same one again. What this tells me is that this organization clearly was present at this event. So if they were present and this was a big political agreement, it's likely that this is not the first time that these people sit together to sign. Don't just go to a place, sign and everything. You need discussions, you need to have this agreement back and forth and rectified and all that stuff. So let's see if we can find more photos within this website. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for the name of the place. So we have established that this is the name of the place and I want to find photos only within this website. And for that, I'm going to use something. Let me just copy paste so it's easier. <laughs> I don't have to type it. Here you go. So we have the name of the place, you have site and just to find within this website. So the unsmil.unmissions.org and this is it. Let's see what we can get. As expected, we have several settings. So we have this setting, this setting, this setting. They all seem different from each other. And this says, here you go, Libyan political dialogue. Okay, so they were having a dialogue, which is expected, like I said, they have to go back and forth until they agree on whatever they need to agree. So these four people were likely present, or at least partially present, on these previous agreements as well. Ideally, we would find some other photos with at least one of these people, just one. I would be very happy if it's just the one. So you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I'm going to show you more because this is what I found. And I was very, very happy. I was like, oh my God, I found the signatures. Is that it? Is that how it ends? You just find the signatures, you translate and you find all the people. I wish, unfortunately, it was not as easy as that, but I will show you how it was very, very helpful anyway. So let's click this link and see what this photo is. See, And there are more photos in this gallery. So before you get too excited, here you go. You can look at it in a second, but let's go through the photos. It also says this was in July. So let's check photos. There's this gentleman that it could very well be this one. And there in the back, there's two with glasses. It could be this one, perhaps this one. Let's go on, see what else we can find. They're signing this book that we have seen here. So this is the same, they're signing it. And here we go, another gentleman signing. Okay, so here we go, this is him. He is signing the document. And where was he? This one, so he's signing this one. So let's go on, keep going, keep going keep going. Okay. So at this point, I think that the back of the head of this man looks very, very similar to the back of the head of this man. So I looked at it and I thought, I think you're the same person. And you have here something that's very useful to me. You have your name and I'm going to read your name. Unfortunately for me, I do not read Arabic. So we need Google Lens for that. So let's go reverse image search, Google search. We're going to use Google Lens to translate his name for us. So you go translate and he tells me that it's called Mr. Saleh Hema Mohamed Al Khana. Okay, so I rather always use the original names because translations are phonetically and they get everything very confusing. So let's copy this and let's Google this gentleman. And what we have here, nothing, nothing of useful. And why is that? Because Google probably struggled 
with something. So it's very likely that he struggled with at least one or two characters and whatever it was, it's not giving me the correct person. But that is okay because we also saw something very useful. We know exactly where he was signing. We know the location of the signature and we have the picture of the signature book. So let's move the signature book this way so we can compare it. There you go. Okay. So where is he signing this? First glance, I would say that this one is empty, which we see here, it's empty. Then there is a signature with a very middle heavy section here. Has, this person has a lot of scribbles in the middle, it makes it darker there, and is the third. So this is this signature. So let's check it out, this name. So let's see if Google can manage this name instead of this name and maybe we'll get to our gentleman. Let me just put this bigger so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, this gentleman. Oh, what do we have here? We have a person and this person looks very similar to the person we're looking for, isn't it? Okay, let's click him. Let's compare his face. Great, I have put them side by side. Let's see, this is the same person. You can see he has a little mole there that is also there. It's the same exact person. We have identified the first person. Now we need his name. Hopefully his name is here. I still don't read Arabic. So let's check it out his website and see what it says. So what does it say, Google? Saleh Hema. The good news are coming. Okay, great. We have his name. His name is going to be at the beginning because we read it and they write from right to left. So we go, Google, give me photos of this gentleman. Definitely correct. This is this one. We have Mr. Man number one. So now we can use the same technique with that gentleman in the far back as we have seen his face. We know how he looks like in the front. We know how he looks like from the side. So let's see if we can spot him signing a document as well. Let me see if I can find my tabs. Okay, so we have the gentleman. Let's see if we can spot him doing something that will be useful to us. I'm sure that he's there somewhere signing something because I'm pretty sure I saw him. There you go. He is signing something, isn't it? We cannot see his name. So like the other one, we saw his name. Google couldn't translate, but he was still there. But let's see where he is signing. We can see that he's signing the right hand side of the paper, perhaps on the far right column towards the bottom. So let's look at our signatures again. I would say it's probably signing in this area here. So let's see what Google Lens tells us his name is. You can see there's a few characters there that it's not able to translate, which is fine. Hopefully this will be enough. So look at that. We have a face and we have a name and we have a Wikipedia page and we have identified mystery man number two, but let's verify anyway. So here he is, Mustafa Abu Shagur. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing, I probably am. So this is his face. It's the same as this one and it's the same as, where is it? Him. So this man, clearly this man, clearly this man and clearly this man as well. So here we go. Man number two is done. Let's move on. So if at this point you're thinking, okay, you have the signatures, you can just translate them all and find them all. Unfortunately, that was not as easy as that because I have translated all of them and I got nowhere because Google either struggled with some characters or just gives me a partial translation. So none of them actually led me anywhere else. So now we have a small problem. We have still two individuals to identify. Where are they? Oh my God, this is too many tabs. There you go. Okay. We have identified this one. We have identified this one and we have two others. And unfortunately they are both fairly similar. We can see the side of this face, but we cannot see more of this face apart from a bit of a blurry profile. So at this point we need, we desperately need to find more photos or videos where we can see his face a bit better and well, his face a bit better. We know there was plenty of media at this event. We've seen them. They're here. They're in the back. 
and you can see them in the back. There's plenty of them. There's photographers, there's videographers, there whatever they are. So it's very unlikely that the UNSMIL were the only ones taking photos of this event. For something this big that has an international audience, it's a big deal, it's a big agreement, something very important, I would think they would have images for sale. So if they're for sale, we we'll probably find them on Getty Images. So let's move to Getty Images. And here we go, we are on Getty Images. So let's search for Libya and Skirhat or whatever it's pronounced. I'm very sorry, I have no idea. But we need to put this as editorial and let's see what we can find. Brilliant, okay. So there's 112 images over three events, which is expected because again, this was some talks that were taking place over several months. Because if you remember, we saw some pictures from July and we saw some pictures from December. Before we start scrolling, we need to figure out exactly what we're looking for. We, you cannot find the answers if you don't have the questions. So let's look, really look at the person we're looking for and see if we can spot him in one of the many photos on Getty Images. This is our target person. We cannot find this one. We have no idea how it looks like. We need to find this one first. We can see he has a very straight nose. His lips are quite full. He has a bit of a double chin. He seems to have a mustache. It's not clear if he has a mustache or not. You can see that again he's balding. I'm sorry I keep mentioning this. <laughs> You can see his ear, it goes, look at that, skin goes there, like a bit tight on this angle there, it's quite interesting. And he seems to have three signs, so one, two, three, could be moles, I'm not sure. Let's memorize this face to see if we can spot it, okay? So if you can start scrolling, start scrolling, there's a few people, you can see a few balding men, but none of them really looks like him. So we need to keep going and going and going. There's a lot of this man. He was definitely someone in charge, someone very important. Second page, and I can show you we're going for the second page because we have to and we'll find something useful. So I have seen something useful to me. We have a man there, there and there. And he's wearing sunglasses, which means that it's not eyeglasses. It does not need the glasses to sign something. So maybe this could be something useful. Let's see if we can find anything on it. Okay, let's try to compare his photo with this photo. What we see here is that there's some sort of a small mole, it seems. It's not clear here, but look at that. These lips are very similar, kind of go up, don't they? You have very straight nose again and a very short hair. It's like, look, go. it goes very forward. So he's balding there, but it goes really forward. The temple is still full of hair, which is quite interesting. Here as well, I think that there a bit could be that mole or that sign or something. So this man is very likely this man. Let's see if this photo helps at all. It doesn't really help, does it? But again, we can see the same features. So since we are looking at him on the right profile, let's see if we can find a photo of his right profile. We cannot see it at the moment and we still don't know who it is, but is on his own here. So it's likely that they have named him in one of these photos. Let's click this one and see if they name this gentleman. So they do, they name him as Mohamed Mazar, a Libyan member of the General National Congress. Okay, brilliant. We have a name, we can work with the name. The problem though, is that this name is in English. And if it's something I have learned is that it is not going to be translated properly because it's going to be translated phonetically and Google is probably going to struggle, but that's fine. I'll show you how you can still do it and still get to it. So, okay, so we're going to translate this name to Arabic, right? So Google tells me this is the name. Let's see if Google is correct. So you go Google images, we can just check it out. And no, it doesn't give us anything useful, does it? Oh, thank you, Google. <laughs> You've tried, you did your best. Okay, this is very offensive, let's move on. <laughs> so what can we do now, right? We're not stuck, we're definitely not stuck. Let's go back because we need to give Google a bit of help. It needs some context because if you just put this name, Google, it does know, it could be anyone. There's a lot of people with the name Mohammed and maybe this is a very common last name, I have an idea, but let's give Google a bit more information. So we're going to go back to where we were, already lost it, okay, it's here. So it says here, remember I read Mohammed Mazar, Libyan member of the General National Congress. Okay, let's give all of this to Google 
translate and it's going to provide us a full translation of this and now we're going to copy paste this and search for it and we can see him there this is his face let's click it and check it out brilliant okay let's visit and see what he says here See, member of state council Mohamed Mohazeb, slightly different, right? So we want to see his original name in Arabic to confirm his identity because I want to know exactly how this is spelled. So now we have the name. Let's check it out. Images and bam, we have loads of photos of this gentleman. So we still need to verify that this one is this one because this is a profile picture and this is front pictures. We want to see how he looks like on the side, right? Let's see if we can find the photo of him. There we go. This one, he's looking to the side. Let's open. We want it bigger. We want to be able to see your face very well because we're going to be extra creepy. Can we just open this? There we go. Okay. Going to zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. What do we see there? What do we see there? The tiny moles, look at that, look at that. They are the same, they are in the same location. You have the straight nose, you have the hair, the same shape, the same color. We have the lips, remember the goes quite full lips, you have the double chin. This is this gentleman. And we have identified gentleman number three. Okay, only one left. So what did I have to do? I know how these three gentlemen look like. I do not know how he looks like. However, they're all sitting at the same table. They're part of the same group. So it's likely that they will be together in other pictures or videos or something. So I just needed to find some visual evidence of the presence of a white balding man next to the three gentlemen that I have identified. What I'll do now is that I'm going to compile all the photos I have so far of this gentleman so we can start memorizing his features so we can spot him as soon as they come on the screen. Okay, so we have the photos again. So let's see if we can memorize any of his features that could be useful to us. There's nothing much apart from his balding. Again, I'm very sorry, is this offensive? <laughs> his hair is gray and it's very short. We can see his profile. So this is the best photo we have so far. There's a few other photos, so this one is not very useful, and we know that there are a few other photos. So it is likely that the gentleman was in some group in many or one or two or I don't know how many of these photos. We have no idea. It could be here. We just don't know how he looks like. I tried for a very long time to find photos of the four gentlemen together. I couldn't, so I start looking for videos. This is what I've done. I looked for Skirat Agreement Libya on videos, Google videos, and I put here the date range to be between the 1st of January 2015 because we know they had talks for many months, so I'm not sure when exactly they started, it's not relevant, and to the end of the year. See what can we find. I can confirm I've watched all of these videos, so I know which one I'm going to click. I'm going to click this one here. So let's see why this video is useful to us. I'm going to increase here and I'm just going to scroll to the correct location so we don't have to watch too much. Okay, so I'm going to play and there we go. The four gentlemen. There they are. We have the first we identified, the second we identified, the third we identified and the one we are looking for. Unfortunately, this does not give us that much information because the and we actually look straight at the camera and then it just cuts off and that's it you have like three seconds of it and he's not even looking straight at the camera but we can get some features we can see quite big cheeks very straight nose some wide nostrils this is very useful and we can start narrowing it down quite a lot so it's not much but it is a start and because I found one video, I thought maybe there's more. Maybe I can find another video. So optimistic. So what did I do? So I went to our UNSMIL and I've noticed that they have a YouTube page. So this is very useful for us because in a YouTube page, they have a lot of YouTube videos. So let's use the search option to search for something. I went with this. So we have Libya, Dialogue, Skirat, 2000. 
Great, so we have plenty of results. So I'm going to just scroll right to the one that I know is the correct one because I have watched all of them. I have watched a lot of videos and I've seen a lot of photos. I am very sick of this event. So let's check out why I think this is a useful video, right? So here you go. There's a talk and there's a lot of people here. And if you remember this, you may notice some familiar objects. Do you remember this that we have seen before? So we have the people sitting and they have the names in front of them. So I'm not sure if you can see it better. There's several on this section as well. So you may remember there was one. Here we go. So this event here is from July. So it's the same as this one where he was signing. So a lot of people were signing and it's very likely that our mystery man number four was also signing and was also present. So at this point, this gentleman who seems to be leading this agreement is going around handshaking everyone. At some point, he will handshake our mystery men and we need to find it. And I have identified what I thought was our mystery man. So let's check it out. It was about here. Okay, let's go back a bit. Wait, so let's see. Here he comes and he goes and he goes for a handshake. Again, he is a tall man. And if you look at his features, I would say they are very similar to what we've just seen. Let's compare them, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to compare him. Okay, so we have this photo and we have this photo. There's not much to work with here, but there's still a bit. We can see clearly a balding man. He's quite tall, it seems, because he's the same height as this man, whilst the other ones are shorter. We can see how he has almost a straight nose with some puffy cheeks. I would say it's very likely that they're the same person, especially because they're in the same group. So the same people are here, are here. You can see this man is this man. We can see this man is this man. And we can see that this man is this man. So it's very likely that this man is, is this man. And I would say that this man is this man. Okay, remember we saw this one just now, but unfortunately he's always in front of his plague, so I cannot read his name. But that's okay, because there's one thing we now know. We know where he is sitting and we know who he's sitting next to. So we can go back to the gallery that has the photos of this specific event with this plaques and see if we can spot this gentleman now that we have seen more or less his face. We're going to try to find out this guy first and then this guy. I have opened it here. So we have the photos here and I am going to skip this for you because it's going to be very long and show you that this gentleman is this gentleman here and this one is here and the lady is there and this, this is our mystery man number four. Remember, it's this one and here it is and he's left-handed, which is something that I like to point out. <laughs> And on the second photo, we can see a bit better his face. Definitely same man. And very importantly, we know where he is signing his name. Because if you remember, we have a photo of these signatures and now we know exactly where his signature is located. So let's check out the signature book again. We have it here. I have opened and let's try again to Google translate this specific signature. You may remember that we're not going to go very far, perhaps because I told you I have tried but that's fine. We're going to use a similar technique as we have done before. So as you can see, this is not working very well. And it could be, again, one character is just messed up. For Arabic speakers, you probably look at it and you know exactly what's wrong. For the rest of us, we have no idea. No idea whatsoever. So we have to work with Google to give it more context again to give us the correct name because it'll probably just correct for us. So this time I'm going to add the word Libya there because again, this is someone that's from Libya. This is a peace agreement within Libya party. So let's go with that. So we go to Google Translate and we're going to just work and we're going to just write Libya and say, can you give me the word for Libyan Arabic? Here we go. We're going to add there and done. And who do we have here? We have our gentleman, one photo two photos, three photos. Let's go with this one. They're all good. So let's visit this and let's check it out. First one, perhaps let me translate to see what it says. It has his name Fadil Al Amin. Okay, here we go. 
we have identified gentleman number four but let's compare the photos side by side i like to always like double check triple check and all that stuff here we go we have his photo we have this face they are the same they are literally the same person we have established that this person is the same person that was here it was in the group of these four men which belong to the same group that signed the papers on our exercise 011. We have therefore established the identity of all four individuals and I have written them down so you can just check out. And here it is. We have the first one we identified this gentleman was Sali Hama Bakta. The second gentleman we identified was Mustafa something something Abu Shagur. <laughs> The third gentleman we identified was this one, Mohamed Moezeb. And the fourth and the hardest gentleman was the Fadir Al Amim. And there you go, we have identified all four individuals from this photo. I hope that made sense. That was a very long video, I'm very sorry. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few techniques, at least one, something like that. I don't know. Leave a comment. I like reading them. And feel free to come back for more OSINT exercises. Probably a bit less hard than this one. This was very long. <laughs> Thank you for listening.